का जॉस्टर वेरिसेला जॉस्टर इज एच एच वी थ्री ह्यूमन हर्पीज वायरस थ्री नाउ हाउ डज द इन्फेक्शन ऑफ दिस हैपन्स अप सो इन्फेक्शन ऑफ दिस हैपन्स अप लाइक थ्रू द रेस्पिरेटरी रूट और थ्रू द कंजेक्टाइबल रूट ओके सो दैट इज द द एरोजोल इज बिंग ट्रांसमिटेड ऑफ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वन देन द इनक्यूबेशन पीरियड इज हाउ मच ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजीज some books they write 14 to 16 days some books they write 10 to 21 days but actually it is 2 to 3 weeks okay so both are correct actually and in this the rashes they are the main manifestation chicken pox on which the question comes and they have a characteristic distribution that is termed as centripetal okay centripetal means what they start on the face and the trunk and spreads radially to involve the flexor surfaces okay what involves the flexor surfaces of the body they are being involved up and what is being uh, like spared up the distal part of the limb they are being spared off in the case of chicken pox okay so this is bilateral and diffuse in distribution which one this particular infection of varicella zoster okay and it is having a centripetal distribution of rash important another important thing is pleomorphic type of a rash the rash appears in multiple crops crops of rashes they are being observed up and at the same time you can see the maclopapule lesions vesicles you can see pus you can see that is the postural lesions and the scabbing also can be found at the same time so that is a unique thing which you can see up in the chicken pox and there is a significant appearance also which is being observed dew drop on rose petal characteristically seen in chicken pox okay and these are the pictures of it which you can observe of this particular child of the chicken pox that which sort of a uh, lesions are being observed in this particular disease okay so if somebody asks you that what is the most common infectious complication of uh, chicken pox the answer is secondary bacterial pneumonias so that is there okay secondary bacterial pneumonias they can happen of some says secondary bacterial infections of the skin so basically to do to be on the safer side in the exam you write up secondary bacterial infections fine so they are the most common complication the most common extracutaneous involvement other than the skin that is brain is involved up fine the most serious complication of chicken pox is what varicella pneumonia means itself it is causing a pneumonia that is the most dangerous stuff in which morbidity and mortality both are there and that's why it is termed as the most serious complication of what this particular chicken pox virus is it fine guys so remember these particular points and extra point which you can add upon is that infectivity period also is being asked and the infectivity period of uh, chicken pox is what rash 